defensive end Marcus Douglas, when you consider how much you bounced around early in your career, Baltimore, New Orleans, San Francisco, back to Baltimore, the fact that you're going to AFC championships two straight years, how does that stability feel for somebody like you? It feels good. It makes me know that I'm doing something right, picking the right teams. And um, I love playing for Rex Ryan. And it was an easy choice for me when he decided to move three hours north from Baltimore. Uh, he called me and I uh, accepted his offer. And now I'm excited to be here a second year in a row to play in an AFC championship game. What's different about the feel of the locker room this week, the feel of practice that lets you know you've advanced as far as you have in the postseason? When you look at guys who've been there before, like Damian Woody and Alan Fanica, and you see their focus in practice, that makes you get focused. Understanding that you, we do play for the hardware, it would be nice to go to the playoffs, but it's more, um, you know, it's just a lot better once you win and once you keep on winning these games and you find yourself in places like Miami playing the Super Bowl when nobody expected you to be there. Damian Woody, of course, with two rings from the Patriots and Fanica with one from the Steelers. Did you try it on? I didn't try it on, but... Come on, you wanted to, though, didn't you? I wanted to so bad, but you never try on another man's ring. At the same time, I grabbed his hand because I wanted to see what it looked like, and I also asked them what it felt like. And to know that those guys have paid that ultimate price to be champions makes me want to uh, have that ring myself. Uh, I envision myself grabbing my little daughter and uh, letting that confetti r fall down on my head and uh, enjoying the good life at, at the NFL. What part of that ring, the way it looked, is so firmly etched in your mind right now? Well, number one, the diamonds. And There's a lot of them, huh? <laughs> a lot of diamonds, and that, and that means something. That means that for 16 weeks during the regular season, you paid that price. And throughout the playoffs, you manned up and you accepted that call. And now that, you, and now that you're a champion, nobody can take that away. Regarding the Colts, there is no quarterback in this league who has been hit less and who has been sacked less than Peyton Manning. Why is that? Because he is the best at what he does. Is it the protection or is it really Manning? I think it's both. I think it starts with the guys up front, and I think that Peyton Manning is an excellent communicator in letting his players know where the pressure is coming from and also getting the ball out of his hands. It's different to watch tape than it is to see a quarterback live. What did you learn playing Peyton Manning live for the two and a half quarters that he was in there that you take into the game on Sunday? What I've taken from the game that we played in December was that if I'm – in a certain defense, I better know my position, I better know who's around me, and I better play fast and physical. Those times that we didn't play fast and physical, they were able to convert on third down and they were able to uh, put points up on the board. There are different ways to get to quarterbacks based on the type of player they are. Rush them off the edge, go at them up the middle. In your opinion, what's the best way to try to get to Peyton Manning? You have to take the offensive lineman and put him in Peyton Manning's pocket which means that you're not going to spend too much time on the line of scrimmage. You want to get north. You want to let Peyton Manning know that you're there. When you don't get there, you want to brush them on the shoulder, let them know that, hey, I'm thinking about you, and I didn't get you this time, but I'm going to get you the next time. You know, one of the biggest challenges, I think, with the Colts is that they run no huddle, and it's not always a hurry up, but it's a no huddle. How much more challenging does that make it for a defense to sub guys in and out? It's challenging, but it's not impossible. Mike Patton, um, Rex Ryan, they do an excellent job throughout the week getting us ready for for those uh, uncertain situations that might happen. If you look at uh, the two-minute drill that Peyton Manning loves to run, he's not going to let you sub. But at the same time, I need to know my job, and I need to know what others are doing around me. And when you do that, you give yourself a best possible chance to win. Back in Week 16, you were a critical part of that game because right. in the third quarter, Calvin Pace knocks the ball out of Curtis Painter's hand. You recover it. Bring it back in one yard for the touchdown. When you think about how that, to a certain degree, helped propel your team into the playoffs and ended the perfect season, what do you think about when you reflect back on that play? That was a great feeling. That was my first first touchdown I ever scored, high school, college, or otherwise. And to know that I had a part in that really made me feel good. But at the time, I had kind of mixed feelings because I saw the coach challenge the play, so I didn't know whether it was going to stand or not. And when it stood, it 
it felt really good. I was just dazed, thanking God at the same time, um, wanting to know what happened to the ball so I can uh, put that in my trophy case. Okay, so where is that ball and is it painted and what does it say on it? That ball is currently being painted and it will be in the first row of my um, trophy room when I get back to in North Carolina. How much have you stopped to think we're 60 minutes away from Miami. I have I have stopped to think about that a lot, knowing that um, I have to put in the time this week to study. If I don't study, if I don't get my body right, I'm not doing this team um, any good when I don't do that. We all have to come together knowing that it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. We have to focus in this week in order to get that win. How comfortable you feel with Rex Ryan saying, I'd be shocked if we lost this game. If he says it, I will back him up. I'm very comfortable with him saying that. You're a very smart man, Marcus okay. Douglas. Thanks for the time. Thanks for having me.